Hello, hello. I am Pastor Sean, and I have the honor of bringing you the word for the day. Today's passage is about forgiveness. And I chose this one, honestly, because I figured the day after Thanksgiving, there's got to be some of us that need to practice this great art of forgiving. Maybe someone talked politics at the table. Maybe you talked politics at the table. Maybe someone didn't bring a dish when they said they would. Maybe someone didn't show up this year after they promised that they would as well. Or maybe there's just a continued string of hurts or even one ginormous hurt that you're dealing with right now. Uh, the truth is, is no one can hurt us quite like family can and Thanksgiving can bring that out. Uh, regardless, today's passage is one that should be a reason and motivation to always choose forgiveness no matter what the hurt is, or at least always be moving in the direction of forgiveness, no matter what the hurt is. Matthew 6, verses 13 through 14 says this, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. This verse honestly scares me, because who doesn't have a hard time with forgiveness? I know I do, and it's plain as day that if we don't forgive, God doesn't forgive us. But I want to help you understand this verse a little better, because I don't actually think Jesus is sitting up there on his throne, looking down at us with, with an angry scowl and shaking his finger at us, telling, forgive or else. What I think he's actually saying is this. If you claim to know Jesus, if you claim to follow Jesus, or if you claim to love Jesus, but you are willingly holding on to unforgiveness in your hearts? Well, I don't think you really know, follow, or love Jesus like you think you do. And hear me out. I know some of us have been through some excruciatingly terrible things. And to think about forgiving those who have done those things to us can hurt more than, than the hurt itself. But Jesus wouldn't command us to do things if he thought we couldn't do it through his strength and power. Forgiveness is the clear and true path, but Jesus knows we can't always take that path on our own. Sometimes the hurt is too big, sometimes the pain is unbearable. But our Jesus is pretty amazing. He showed us through the story of the cross what is possible with him. You see, after Jesus has been beaten half to death, whipped and skin torn to shreds, mocked and crowned with thorns, and then gruesomely nailed to the cross, Jesus, the only innocent man in the whole entire world who deserved none of it, said these words in Luke 23, 34. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they divided up his clothes by casting lots. Here's my question to you. If you were in Jesus' shoes, would you forgive the people torturing you? Would you forgive the sins that you didn't commit? Would you forgive the people who would never and will never deserve forgiveness? Jesus did. And only through him is this sort of thing even possible. The truth is, only through forgiveness and pursuit of forgiveness can we truly understand the gospel that he brings to us. Do you believe in your heart that Jesus has forgiven you and your sins? Because he has. So believe in him. Trust in him and allow him to heal your unforgiveness today. Bring any unforgiveness you might have to God, or, or you might have to God in prayer, and allow him to speak to you through his word. He'll teach you and lead you to forgiveness. Guys, it's okay to struggle with it, because everyone does. But recognize that forgiving is extremely important to Jesus, and it's only possible through Jesus. He knows your hurt. He's experienced your hurt and he wants you to let go. He wants you to let go so you can live a life free from unforgiveness and no longer held down by it. So Calvary, have a blessed day. May you go along forgiving those around you.